YouTube, what up? What it do, what it do? It's your boy Sean G, the People's Champ. Swag team, we are the swag team. It's all about the swag team. Yo, my swag team, salute. So, this video right here, it's gonna be a little, you know, a little juicy. You feel me? A lot of people know about it already. It's been happened the last couple of days, man. Big, big, big breakup. Big breakup. We're talking about Quavo and Saweetie. I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna dive right into it. Now, this is what I wanna say. Before we get into this bad boy right here, y'all know what to do. Go ahead, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, so far, man, I appreciate everybody, man. You guys are awesome. I also want to take the time out to thank everybody for going over to watch my motivational speech that I was a narrator of on Let's Be Great channel. All the subscribers that went over there as well. Thank you guys so much. That, that, that video is very, very, very motivational for a lot of people. And I want uh, everybody to go check it out, man. I'm going to leave the link description below. So you guys can check that out as well, okay? Please. That video is very important for everybody um, who wants to, you know, become their own boss, boss up, and make moves on their own, you know? So check that out as well, all right? Now, back to the story. So this is, like I said, the last couple of days this happened. Um, you guys know that uh, Revolt has a show with uh, Justin LeBoy and also Justin Combs, Diddy's son. And I recently found out that Diddy's son, Justin Combs, used to talk to and date Saweetie. And Saweetie was a special guest on that show recently. Now, there's a couple of things wrong with that already from the start. First and foremost, you know you were in a relationship with Quavo. Why would you accept going on that show with your ex-boyfriend? Unless you already see things going down south with Quavo. Well, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. Um, so she went on the show. They were asking a whole bunch of questions about relationships. About what did she think about, you know, perfect man and this and that and all kind of stuff. And she would answer the questions and, you know, to me, questions, if, if, if you didn't think clearly, they would go over your head. Now, they did ask her one specific question, which I thought was... Very rude how she answered that question. And I think Quavo did as well. They asked her if she had a perfect man, a man that treated her right, that did everything good for her, would she give that person a threesome? And who would it be? The per who would the girl be? Now, what she said is if she had a perfect man that did everything for her, which she doesn't have, basically, she would give the guy another guy, which not a threesome anymore. That's a train. Choo choo, choo choo. That's not a threesome. That's a train. So basically, she told the whole world that she, Quavo, she would get another dude in the bed with them to run a train on her. But. Obviously, she may not have been serious, but the fact that she said that to, to, to me, personally, and Quavo were disrespectful. And if I was Quavo, I would do what I, I was the same way I did. Now, what happened was, there were some tweets that came out, and I'm going to show y'all the tweets. You know, I'm going to show y'all um, Saweetie's tweet, and then I'm going to show y'all um, Quavo's tweet, right? His, his response. 
And then Tweety also responded back again, basically, to, Twavo, to, to Quavo's tweet. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all that in a minute, right? But there was a, a rumor from a media site that said Quavo came and took his car back, repoed his car back. He bought her a Bentley for Christmas, $350,000. I found out that it was leased under his name. So he came and took that bad boy back. He said, I need my, run it back. I need my car back. So he came and got the repo, came and got the Bentley. And everybody saying it was petty. It's under his name. It's his car. Get it back. Why not, right? Um. So yeah, that was that. And I'm going to show y'all the clip real quick. Right here. All right, guys, you seen the clip, right? You seen, you seen the tweets? Let me know what y'all think about the tweets. Um, you know, I thought they were very interesting. Uh, so we made it clear that it just wasn't going right for her. Um, you know, if you, read, if, you read, if you read between the lines, a lot of different things she was saying. Um, you know, she just wasn't happy, both of them. I kind of seen when they were together yeah, it looked a little weird too. A little, uh, it looked a little forced, like it wasn't really that special. I also heard that Quavo was the one, you know, since maybe two, three years ago, helping, you know, to 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 get her back on track as far as to be being a girlfriend. You know, she didn't know how to be a a, a real girlfriend, so he was helping her to you know to be a good girlfriend over the years and she was learning. You know, she has a very aggressive alpha woman's um, status about her. She's not like girly girl, she's not submissive. So for him, it's more training and of a battle of a mindset to get her to shimmer down, let me lead, let me lead the way and let me handle business. But no, she wanted to boss up and do her own thing, which is cool. But at the same time, you got a man, let him be the man and do what he gotta do as well. You feel me? Um, hey, Quavo said he wished her the best of luck. She replied and said, take care. It's officially over. I see a lot of doc, a lot of dudes sliding in Sweetie's DMs, and I'm sure a whole bunch of chicks is waiting for Quavo. So we're gonna see what happens. They haven't tweeted or Posted anything on Instagram since then. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, description, guys. Don't forget, once again, go check out the other video, Let's Be Great channel, motivational video, and I'll see y'all for the next one. Peace.